quantify that a little bit. There were more than 50,000 crashes involving deer in Michigan last year. Kent County alone, more than 1,800. That leaves a lot of work for County Road Commission's deer sheriff. 13 on your side, Zena DeSaro shows us what goes into this job, and we do want to warn you, the graphic images you're about to see in this story. If you drive a car, ride the city bus, ride a bicycle, or even step outdoors, you've probably seen your fair share. See that mass up there on the right? Of roadkill. Eyes open, tongues out, means he's dead. It's not only deer. Cow, llama, horse, turkeys, raccoons, bobcats, fox, possums, dogs, scat, uh, cats, and skunks. If you've ever reported a dead animal in the roadway. Where is it? Chances are this man, the deer sheriff. I don't know whether to laugh or cry, but that's what they call me. Otherwise known as Andy Albertson. Go ahead. Is responding to the call. You've got doctors, lawyers, carpenters, plumbers. There's only one deer sheriff. It's a strange way to make a living. Uh, it can be very satisfying at times, very gross at times. The most common animal he picks up. You guessed it. Does, bucks. Big, small. The sight. That violent end down here. The smell. Summertime, it's unbearable. I can't, the truck, when I park it, it's got to be parked away from businesses. It's no doubt a dirty job. The most productive way is me to get out, put a fresh set of rubber gloves on, drag them on the truck and get rid of them and on the next one. And during the fall and winter months, this sheriff has his work cut out for him. Literally. This big buck here. Uh, by the time I got the call, by the time I got from here out to the airport, uh, his head was already gone. Talk about gross. I, I find that a touch barbaric. I'm not sure what the what the purpose is of an animal that's been hit by a car. Stop, cut the head off or the horns off, and then do what? Go tell a story about how you hunted it? I don't know how that, how that works. Albertson starts his day at the Kent County Road Commission. First thing on the list is responding to complaints that came in the night before. Right now, I just got a call from the office. We've got a dead animal partially blocking. Picking up whatever else he finds along the way. They are everywhere. They're on state highways. They're on country roads. They're in neighborhoods. He started this job in 2005. <laughs> disposing of nearly 33,000 animals since then. And I told the boss when I hit 50,000, I'm going to retire. I decided to help him reach his goal. Come on, deep breath, it's all right. <gasps> Albeit reluctantly. It won't bite, it's dead. That's one point for Nina. <laughs> Gross. And 32,322 points for the deer sheriff. In one day, I had 3,000 pounds in here. And that is a lot. I run out of room back there, they were falling off the sides. Where there's deer, See somebody got his horns? You can expect to find pieces of a car nearby. See the car parts in front? That's how you can tell. A different kind of hunting. Deer hunting road commission style. Not everyone. Right, toss it up there. Is cut out for. As I'm 53 years old, college degree, here I am in this uh, front seat of the deer wagon. Um, yeah, you have to laugh a little bit. Maybe God has me where he wants me, you know? <laughs> Albertson works with several agencies across the city and county. All of the calls that come in about a dead animal in the road generally get funneled to him. He goes out, collects them all every day, and dumps them at the South Kent Recycling and Waste Center. So those of us who were in the Information Center, when you came back from this store, I mean, you're a tough cookie. Yeah. And you keep saying gross. Really, what was that it, like for you? <laughs> it, I mean, it was gnarly. I... I <laughs> if it was summertime, I don't know I could have done this story mm -hmm. and like managed to hold it together because <laughs> I can't even imagine the smell. I mean, the, the yeah. look of it is just those poor deer. I feel Nick has a face like I'm just I, I was just thinking it was a great throwback use of the word gnarly there for a moment. Gnarly. You but know, in a bad way. Somebody <laughs> has to do it. So thank goodness the county has the deer sheriff. I know and it's not everybody's cut out for it. Uh, and this I couldn't man, do it. I couldn't do is. it. So. You are, though. You pulled it off. No, nope, I'm good. Just one. <laughs> right. Never again. That's Thank it. You. Thank you. Only you, Andy. <laughs> well, it was a wonderful.